All right, so welcome back here, everybody. And now we're ready to go ahead and begin the process of painting our character. So what we want to go ahead and do, since we already have everything pretty much filled with the objects and filled with the colors that we want, we're ready to simply just go ahead and um, block out some color. And uh, the easiest way, and I think the the more logical way here, is what we're going to go ahead and do to me come over here and just import a texture into ZBrush here and I've already gone ahead and made you know what would be a color swatch inside of Photoshop and you can see here that I'm gonna have the ability to go ahead and sample from it so if we go ahead and hit spacebar you're gonna get your color picker you just have to left click and drag the color that you want and you can simply sample that color and then just simply turn off that texture and we can go ahead and actually paint with this so if we wanted to we'll just come in here paint a little bit oops and I'm making sure that I hit X so that I'm gonna be able to paint on both sides of the model here okay so we're just gonna come in here and just start blocking out some color and I think that is actually too dark so let's go ahead and select this and we'll take this lighter one Go ahead and turn this off. And if you want, you can simply, you know, go ahead and fill the object and keep doing that until you get the sort of texture that you want or the sort of darkness that you want. You can always come up here and turn the RGB intensity to, you know, 100 and then paint it, uh, completely fill it that way, which, you know, it might be the easiest solution here, but I also want to make sure that I have the right shader or the right material to go ahead and paint on. So if we come in here and you can see that I have a bunch of different materials in here. We can just take and walk through and see the material samples here and pick and choose the color that we want. And I think we'll go ahead and let's just take a look here to see which one we want to go ahead and paint with. Um, You'll notice that I'm actually looking through all of these because I want to make sure that I get the, the right sample here and the right sort of um, mix of color. So it looks like this is probably going to be the one that I want here. Okay, so I have the, the basic color that I want. And now I want to go ahead here and just start adding some more of the detail here. So what what I mean by that is I want to go ahead here and paint the stomach and I'm not going to paint it 100% because that's going to really like drown out any other color that's in here. So I want to tend to paint it at a low intensity. Okay, so we'll go ahead and paint some white in here. And making sure that I don't have any sculpting on here. So we'll just use our freehand brush. And go ahead and just try and paint in here. And I'm trying to paint it a, you know, clean sort of stroke because I don't want to make sure that, I just want to make sure that I get the paint in correctly. Um, I don't really want to have any, like, messed up textures. And this will just take a little bit of time to really go ahead and get all this painting in and done cleanly. Okay, so we'll just have to, and it's basically like coloring, you just sort of want to stay with inside the lines, and that is probably too intense, um, maybe darken that up just a little bit. I don't want it to be so blown out white but I do want the belly to be white it just don't want it to be you know overly white so go ahead and just you know paint a couple strokes and see how it's working out Just simply work your way through the body, and painting what you need. And 
and then it'll really just come down to you know how much painting you really want to do and how good you want to make the overall textures for the body so it, it, it's really all up to you and um, in terms of how much effort you really want to go ahead and put into this You can see that I'm slowly just working my way through here. Just making sure that I, you know, go ahead and paint what I want and trying to get it to be clean. And I'll oftentimes use the Shift R BPR render to check to make sure that the colors are working, you know, cleanly in the way that I want. And it's definitely going to look a little bit different from ZBrush and then when we jump back to Maya because the material system is a little different in terms of the way that it's um, created. Okay. Let's come in and sample some more color here. Let's go ahead and sample some more color here. We're going to sample this purple so we can go ahead and paint around the eye here. And you'll notice I'm not um, texturing the eyes inside of ZBrush here. And I'm doing that for a reason because I'm going to be texturing those eyes inside of Photoshop. Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn the RGB down here for the eyes. And just making sure that our level isn't crazily high here. You can always solo that off so that we can simply paint on the inside portion of the eyes here. And take a look at some more of the different material aspects here. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn our eyes back on here. Maybe we have to paint a little bit more on the side there. Okay. Just trying to smooth out the edges on that purple, which is probably a little bit too purple. So we'll go ahead and jump back and maybe just lighten that up a touch. And a lot of this is just paint and, you know, see what works. I'm not really liking that purple on the eyes, so let's go ahead here and paint some more of the, the body aspects here. So we'll just, you know, paint with our standard brush here. And we'll go ahead and sample a different color here. And I think we're going to go ahead and use this dark blue. Go ahead and turn our texture back off here. Uh, we we'll use our spray, turn on our alpha here, and let's just go ahead and pick a um, circular alpha maybe. Let's 
see how this works and that just isn't um, what I want in there so maybe we'll go ahead and use our drag direct and turn the intensity up here and maybe have to turn the intensity up some more here change the alpha shape here Go ahead and switch to white here and turn the intensity down. And I'm just trying to, I'm going to go ahead here and paint on the back sides of the fins here. And I'm just trying to, you know, add a lot of variation to the overall color of the creature here. And you know what, I'm not liking that white, so let's come in here and sample blue. And we'll go ahead and Try a darker color here. That actually looks a little bit better. And maybe smooth out that color a little bit here. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of these fins here. Like I said, a lot of this is basically just trial and error and see what works. See what you're happy with. Okay, I think that's looking good so far. Let's hit our PPR render to take a look at it. It's looking pretty decent. We might just have to smooth these colors out up here a little bit. If we want, we can always just sample our original color and paint back a little bit. Let's go in here and maybe start adding some of the specular detail here. And we'll just simply frame in here and we're going to work on the face. So we will go ahead and grab a white and a spray. We're going to go ahead and turn this alpha texture off here. That is too intense there. And 
And I actually want to sample the white from the under portion of the body there. And uh, we will use an alpha here. Put a little bit of white on the fins here. And I'm just going to maybe change the material once more here. Okay, so now let's go ahead here and maybe just start adjusting this. And then the next lesson we will uh, go ahead and really refine and add some more of the detail for the, for the body here. But I'm just trying to make sure that I get a sort of um, kind of like a water effect on the body. Um, just so that everything looks, you know, the way it should. This is looking pretty decent here. Because I don't really want the body to be one basic color. I want it to have a lot of um, variability. And I don't want anything to sort of be uniform, basically. I want to have a lot of variation here. Just throw down a stroke or two and mark that way. And if you want, you can always, you know, add um, some detail here as well by, you know, adding um, a subtract or an add stroke to that. And we can probably sample another color here. If we wanted to, say like this dark blue, and we'll go ahead and turn that texture off. Start adding maybe some scales here. And the hard part with doing scales is you want to make sure that it's um, evenly distributed. So uh, I think we'll go ahead and call this for this lesson, and then we'll go ahead and come back and um, 
work on the process of going ahead and actually putting those skills through because that actually will take us, you know, at least a decent amount of time because we want to make sure that all those skills are going to look good whenever we go to render it. So um, in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and come back and we'll go ahead and do that. So um, continue watching and uh, I hope you're enjoying the tut.